All right, I want you to start thinking about the fact that when we're adding numbers, it really doesn't matter what order we add them, and that, make, that may make this problem easy. For instance, 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 7 plus 5 is 12. If I change the order and make it 4 plus 5 plus 3, it's 9 plus 3 is 12. So order doesn't matter. I'm going to reorder this. I'm going to make negative 4 fifths plus 6 fifths plus some number I don't know is going to be equal to 0. Well, let's start the process. Let's start at negative 4 fifths and we'll put negative 4 fifths on our number line right here and we'll make a number line that is all fifths so that's negative four fifths negative three fifths negative two fifths negative one fifth and zero so let's add six fifths one two three four five six we end up at two fifths now what we need is a number that when added to where we wound up will get us back to zero Obviously, we need to somehow, while we're doing this, we need to get back two spaces. So what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we will add to this a negative two fifths. So we're going to have to move back two fifths to end up back at zero. By rearranging this, it is pretty easy to see that if we break it down to the fact that we're dealing with fifths all the time that all we're really doing is going from a negative four fifth spot adding six and then trying to get home again back to zero i hope this helped if it didn't um give me shoot me an email back and we'll we'll see if we can take another approach all right so your answer up here obviously should be negative two fifths um let's go ahead and check the problem in the um, in the form that it's in um, in the in the problem let me see if I can I can't seem to change colors here for some reason um, let me get rid of this thing I don't know what's going on um, so this time let's start at negative two-fifths let's start here and let's work through the problem plus a negative four-fifths so that takes us back one two three four and we end up at negative six fifths. And then if we move up another six fifths, one, two, three, four, five, six, we end up back at zero. One of the things I really want to get used to is finding an answer, then putting the answer back in the original equation to make sure that it's true. I hope to help.